The toe side turn is one of the purest moves in snowboarding. And should it be in Papau or on the groomer, a good toe side turn will make you feel like a king. So there are three phases to the toe side turn. So it's really important you come back onto both your legs with a weight on your front. Your shoulders and your hips 90 degrees from the board. You're gonna start to put pressure gradually and you start bending your knees and pushing your hips forward. Like this, you do this movement. Wookie, wookie. Let your weight go gradually towards the tail of the board and leave your upper body as steady and straight as possible. The third phase of your turn, that's when you let the pressure release, you will let your board go forward and poof, and explode back up. So one of the big rules of turning in snowboarding is to always have your upper body and your lower body separated. And basically, the more you can have your upper body still not moving and horizontal and have everything happen below you on your legs and hips, the better. The big mistake not to do is to come with your upper body like this, leg straight, upper body. That's the mistake that everybody does, including myself. Second one is to use your upper body to throw your turns. Really bad. And then the third one is to start your turn low and push through your turn instead of bend down. So these are the three common mistakes. A good toe side turn will give you the stability to ride fast and the confidence in any kind of terrain. So now it's your turn. You know how to master the toe side turn, so go and slash it, power turn it, carve it, whatever you like. But remember that this is the essence of snowboarding, so you need to enjoy every bit of it. <laughs> <laughs>